Okay, okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. Today, I think we're going to talk about the most useless, but also one of the easiest proving techniques, which I've just named as proofs using differentiation. All right, let's just get into it. To prove that some function is a constant, first thing you got to do is uh, show that its derivative is zero. I mean, this is pretty self explanatory because if the derivative is the rate of change, but the function is not changing. That means it's a constant. Yes, that's all. And the second thing is you just substitute whatever value you find convenient to find out exactly what that constant is. And then you're done. You've proven the thing. So pretty easy proving technique. So let's just look through some examples. Okay, the classic sine square x plus cosine square x. That's obviously one. You can use it. You can try and prove this using a unit circle. But I'm going to show you this method. Just take the derivative. Yes, very easy. Just chain rule is zero. And then sub in the function where x equals zero, sine zero, zero, cosine zero, one. And then the sum is one. Okay, that's all. And you have proven it. Next example, inverse sine x plus inverse cosine of x and differentiate them. Yes, at the opposite of each other, sum them up and it's zero. Yes, substitute x equals zero. And then what you get, cosine inverse of zero is pi over two. And then you're done. All right, so those are all the examples I thought of. Maybe there are more examples that you would like to suggest, I don't know. Okay, so what's the inspiration for all this? So the, the first thing was the MF26, which was my JC formula sheet. Yes, so you look at this table over here, especially the sine inverse and cosine inverse derivatives. Uh, yeah, they're the opposite. So I realized that if you sum them together, you will get zero. So essentially a constant function. And that's why I Googled it. Turns out it was an actual thing. So that's interesting. And the other one is uh, this Wikipedia article on Euler's formula, the famous one. Yes, you don't have to do some uh, Taylor series expansion to prove this. Just use this differentiation, very easy. And then it is proven like that. So it is easy, but the problem is it's pretty useless, especially when you're trying to teach certain proofs because it gives no insight at all to why the formula is true. Like if you look at the Pythagorean example, the sine square x plus cosine square x, it doesn't explain any relationship between sine and cosine, it just proves it so it works, but it doesn't explain why it works. So maybe it's interesting, maybe you find it to be boring, I don't know, just something I wanted to share. Okay, that's all for today.